Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense, leveraging the power of SaaS for the controller and platform as a service for the gateways. All right, let's talk about some of the challenges. Cloud, there's a ton of nuance. There's lots of different ways of building in controls within the cloud service provider. AWS has a ton of controls and capabilities, but there's nuance on how you might deliver those controls within that environment. Azure, again, might have lots of different capabilities within Azure, but at the end of the day, again, there's nuance in the way that you deliver those controls. Google, Oracle, same thing. So the challenge is, is that we're dealing with a hybrid multi-cloud environment. We need visibility and control to be able to systematically deliver the right levels of controls across our hybrid environment, even if we're in a single cloud environment and it needs to be scalable. And so with Cisco multi-cloud defense, we start abstracting the complexity within the cloud service provider environment. And I mentioned that you may look at one cloud service provider and start there. It could be AWS, it could be Azure. And you might think that you're comfortable with leveraging those native controls. The challenge is, is that if you have an acquisition later, or if there's a competitive reason why you might want to expand your ability across other cloud service providers, the nuance starts to set in. So you're better served to take a step back and remove the complexity of security into something that can scale out to accommodate the security needs across a diverse set of cloud environments. So we want to make sure it's automated. We want to make sure that policy can adapt and change and it's centralized across that cloud infrastructure. Now, we want to make sure that we're also doing inbound. So stop inbound threats from web or non-web applications. Outbound, we want to block command and control and botnets and data exfiltration and lateral movement, mitigate the attacker and their ability to navigate within the environment. The goal here is to reduce risk, enable agility, and gain efficiencies. So multi-cloud defense provides a centralized SaaS-based controller in the cloud and delivers a platform as a service gateways within our cloud service provider. And we can do this multiple different ways. We're going to get into that a little bit as we move along. But the goal here, again, is to make sure that we've got ingress protection, we've got egress security, and then we've got segmentation both east-west. And we're unifying the security policy. So we're creating our objects within the Cisco multi-cloud defense controller. And we're building our rule sets within the platform to deliver the outcomes across our multi-cloud environment. And again, there might be nuance between the environments in regards to what controls that we might want to leverage or they, the way they might be deployed. But multi-cloud defense doesn't care. We can do it based on tag-based policies, so they're dynamic, and as new workloads come up into the environment, they're automatically being adapted to the policy that's relevant to them, and it allows us to learn those tags in real time. So there's no delay in building out services as we start scaling out the environment. It's fully orchestrated. We can leverage Terraform, or REST API to deliver these gateways within our environment. And we take care of it all. We not only take care of the gateways that we need to deploy, but we also help modify the routing tables to ensure that that is all taken care of. And, it, and depending on centralized or decentralized models, we can even build the entire VPC that allows us to drive that centralized model if desired. So here's a little view of the architecture. At the very top here, we've got our SaaS-based controller, and then we've got our individual cloud service providers. All policy is maintained in SaaS, and these are the gateways that might be delivered. And they could be delivered both on a centralized model or a decentralized model or a combination of both. You're not restricted here. So you have a lot of flexibility of delivering the right outcomes within the right environments as needed. Now, some of the capabilities that we provide, ingress gateway, so reverse proxy, TLS decrypt, web application firewall, L7 DOS, IDS, 
IPS, antivirus, GOIP, and malicious IP. So that's the ingress gateway. On the egress side, we centralize this gateway to provide two functions if desired. Again, you can pick one or other or both. Egress, we got URL filtering, forward proxy, TLS decrypt. You got FQDN filtering, FQDN based firewall policy, data loss prevention, IDS, IPS, and antivirus. And east west, we get FQDN filtering, IPS, IDS, antivirus, micro segmentation, FQDN based firewall policy, and TLS decrypt. And it's all driven through a single pass architecture. So simply, delivering the controls required in the gateway that's being delivered. So some of the security models, centralized as I mentioned. So the centralized model is a centralized security VPC where multi-cloud defense will deliver the gateways required to provide that function. So again, security VPC or VCN inspects traffic, gateways are deployed in those VPCs or VCNs, auto scale aware, multi availability zone aware. Again, you can deliver multiple types of defense gateways, whether that be ingress or egress or east west. You've got the controller handles the entire life cycle of the gateways. It's truly cloud native from instantiation to scalability, reliability, upgrade management, hit list, signature and updates. No out-of-band configuration is needed on the gateways and multi-cloud defense is available for AWS, Azure, GCP, and OCI. Go ahead and build out all of your Terraform and your Ansible and all that other stuff to try to move a traditional next-generation firewall into your cloud service provider. But we all know what the challenges that exist when doing so. I mean, we can do this with Cisco Secure Firewall, or formerly Firepower Threat Defense. But if you want a truly cloud native experience and move into both SaaS and platform as a service type approach, then you need to move to Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. Now in the distributed model, again, there's a lot of things that we do and deliver on very similar to what I've just outlined previously. But the difference here is, is that we're actually delivering the gateways within the spokes themselves for whatever reason. That's the design of the organization. Every spoke has internet access. And so you might be delivering on ingress or egress based um, controls within those spokes. Again, a valid design. And then you get into the combined security model, centralized and distributed. So you might have a centralized model for a couple of the uh, spokes that you have in the environment, and then we can deliver both ingress and egress east-west gateways within that security VPC. And you could have a distributed model to support ingress and egress, depending the spoke and the design of the spoke, and you can deliver that within the spoke VPC. Now, as I go through the series here, there's one thing that we've already done. The accounts have been added to multi-cloud defense. This is the first step to onboard the cloud accounts. This allows the multi-cloud defense controller to interact with each account by discovering the inventory and traffic, orchestrating security deployment, and creating and managing the policy. We walk you through the integration with your cloud service provider and get you set up very, very quickly. And I've skipped that part in the rest of the series so we can focus on outcomes as opposed to showing you how simple it is to connect the accounts. So let's get started.